Magnus. Just the name screams super criminal genius guy. Person's psych team tested his IQ. He scored off the charts, apparently. Why don't you just tell me what the hell it is you're up to? Maybe it's all a misdirect. Like a magician? Gregory Harrow? Hey, what's up? A little over five years ago, Gregory Harrow is suspected of murdering a woman in college, Andrea Fry. I need you to find Magnus's link to the case. Who's Andrea Fry? Who are you? Andrea Fry is Magnus's daughter. You're on a mission for justice. Do you believe in evil, Mr. Logan? So what are you in for? I have many sins to account for. Couldn't escape, so we did the next best thing. He brought Haro to him. Into the same damn cell. It's mine. It's mine. Our appointment with destiny has merely been delayed. some good news for me. The guy's been through six lawyers in the last two months. Guess nobody's crazy enough to stay on the case. Skills still intact. Like there was any doubt. Come on. That's what Sandra was sick with the flu, huh? Yeah, you got it. this thing's Going been around. a killer. No, I had the doctor dodged a bullet there. Too bad you weren't riding with me, though. I know. Bonnie and Clyde back at it. You'd be Bonnie, of course. You're a better Bonnie. You look good as a blonde. You know, you're not the first person to tell me that. Well, it's not me that makes the schedules, man. It's Ryder. Yeah, and ever since Elise got transferred, Ryder's been sticking me with every she got mouth transferred? breather under the sun. Yeah, she got transferred. Mr. Bay? Hey, sir. He drawn the rig, Toby? Oh, yes, sir. And uh, who am I riding with today? Me. I take it that you have an issue with my schedule? No, no. Oh, you think you can do a bad job? No, not at all. Uh, may I ask why I have the uh, pleasure of your company today, sir? Well, I'm not just a supervisor. I am a paramedic. And as a paramedic, I'd like to keep my skills fresh. Oh, you've come to the right place. Your skills are very fresh, sir. I can vouch for that. Hmm. I feel like today's going to be a long day. Good luck, Bonnie. Toodaloo, Glad. Time soon. I think I'll stick around. Lockdown! Put us in lockdown! About a half hour ago, a unit recovered Magnus's abandoned vehicle. There, near 16th Avenue. Have you been in touch with, with Metro? Yeah, it's the first thing I did. They got roadblocks set up in a three kilometer radius. It's locked down tight. Uh, local airports? Yeah, I already briefed airport security. They got Magnus's photo and all his knowns. He's not gonna fly anywhere today. All right, okay, easy. Easy on the caffeine. Okay, look, I think we all know we're not gonna be able to track Magnus using conventional methods. His IQ is off the charts. He is extremely resourceful and he will always stay 10 steps ahead of us. All right, I've been in a lot of people's minds. Nothing like Magnus. Trying to get a read on him is like trying to hold on to a jet. Well, then we need to think faster. We need to figure out where he's going and get there before him. Michelle, you know him better than anybody. Where is he heading? I mean, this is pretty easy, right? Gregory Harrell. He killed his daughter. He's gonna take him out. That's what I thought at first, but uh, take a look at that. Gregory's dead? Last I heard, he was in jail. Gregory was released after six months. Six months? His father paid for the best litigators in the city, got him out on appeal. And a few days later, his uh, card was punched. Motorcycle accident. The fickle hands of fate cast him a smackdown. You can't cheat justice. But the question remains, where is Magnus heading? He could be coming after you, Michelle. I mean, you put him in jail twice. No, he's not after me. It was a game for him between us. Magnus has a specific goal. It's believed he has a sizable nest egg, possibly in the Caribbean. You know, 50 million still unaccounted for. They never found it. 
Well, then we search again. If he's trying to leave the country, then we have a very short window. Dev, you keep in close contact with Metro. Can you put out a system wide alert to all the federal agencies? Mm -hmm. You and I are going to go talk to Magnus's accomplice. You ever been to Kingston Pen? First time for everything. Decaf. You're the litigator, Robin Wise. Sorry, I work by referral only. Mm. Do I know you? Oh, we haven't met. Magnus Elfrenson, please stay. I could scream for help. Well, that would change the tone of this conversation very abruptly. Can I take this? Could I have a coffee, please? Thank you. What do you want from me? I consider myself a very resourceful man. A man who can find the answer to any question. But there are some questions even I can't answer. I was watching them on the monitor the whole time. Looked like any other legal meeting. Thank you. So what are you thinking? Well, from meeting with the other lawyers, Magnus knew the drill. Guard was bringing Magnus from his cell. Magnus's accomplice put an induction shunt on the camera. It hijacked the signal and fed it to a recorder, which captured 20 seconds of them talking quietly at the table. Played it back in a loop into the guard station. It was seamless. Gave them ample time to open Magnus's cuffs, change clothes, change hair. By the time the camera was turned on again, the guy already had his head in his hands. Well, the guard said it wasn't more than two or three minutes. Well, that's all he'd need. Magnus would have been practicing this for months. Let's bring him in. It's forgery. Sean Weil, LLBC, criminal law. Look, you guys got me on this already. What do you want from me? Information. I got nothing to give. You helped a prisoner escape from a federal penitentiary. Come on. He must have given you some kind of incentive. But all the money in the world won't do you any good in here, will it? You help us out, and I can talk to the Crown, maybe get you out of here before retirement age. But you have to give us something that will help. Look, I don't know anything. Yeah, I'm going to find a nice shady spot by a temple beneath a banyan tree. We already have a rough idea of where he's headed, somewhere hot, tropical. All we need is a little help narrowing it down. If you guys want help finding Magnus, you've come to the wrong place. Banyan trees and temples could be uh, Cambodia, India, Thailand. He'd never give anyone his actual destination. That's right. He knew we would have got it from him. Well, he wants us to think he's running. I don't think he's going anywhere. He's got unfinished business. We just have to figure out what it is. Yeah. Hey, Michelle, we had a Magnus sighting. You're OK? He wanted to know the details of Harold's prison release. What did you tell him? That Harrow's father hired me to file a motion of appeal. And this appeal was based on? Some issues with the chain of evidence. But it was obvious it wasn't going to be granted. Harrow cut me loose a week later. But Gregory Harrow was released. That wasn't my doing. It always helps to be a rich man's son. What did he say when you told him this? He said that I told him everything he needed to know. And then he gave me this. He said it's for you. On wrong, swift vengeance waits. Alexander Pope, one of his better lines. So Magnus still sees himself as the avenging angel. I've been on with Metro. They've been checking uh, security cams, traffic cams in the area of the coffee shop. There's no Magnus on any of them. He worked out the camera angles and only moved when there was someone there to cover him. You know, there's units canvassing the area. Maybe we get lucky. Don't hold your breath. And exposed himself to a lot of risk to talk to the lawyer. It sounds like he didn't get much, though. She said that he got what he needed. Yeah, I got a read off her. She was thinking it helps to be a rich man's son. So I guess uh, she thinks he got out of prison because of his dad's money or influence. Dev, can you pull up Gregory Harrow's file? Yeah, but he's dead. What do we care? Because Magnus cares. Copy that. Weird. The file's incomplete. It stops when Harrow went to prison, and then the next entry is just 
He's dead. It's been redacted. So what are we looking at here? Another agency who doesn't want us to look at this file? Doesn't mean we won't get it. Whoever put the fix in on this is working at a pretty high level. We have to find out what happened to Gregory Harrow in the month before his death. Give me three hours, a bag of cheesy poofs, and some grape drink. Stat. Hey, I'm gonna go home, grab a shower, change my clothes. Yeah, okay. How you doing? Fine. They better was bang us back behind bars. Hey, look, you got him before. You got him again. Oh, he's the smartest criminal I've ever tracked. Oh, look, we're in this together. Okay, go we'll get him. I'll call you when I have something. All right, cool. So, sir, you decided to brush up on your skills, and you you chose me as the as the brush. I am sure flattered, tickled, really, honored, actually honored. You're blathering, Mr. Bay. Well, blathering was my minor in college. That was a joke. We didn't really have. Blathering. Well, it was an MFA course, but you had to get your bachelor in, in rambling first, and then you'd go right to blathering. You're or, still blathering. Okay. Dispatch to 113. We have a man in seizure. A man in seizure. Winston Churchill at the Queensway. Over. 113. We're on our way. Be there in about five minutes. You think Dundas or the 427? No, we're going to take the Lakeshore. This close to Russia? I can't take the Lake. Okay, yeah, we can take the Lakeshore. Hello again, Mr. Logan. You truly don't know what a pear tastes like until you've been denied one for years. Well, you should have called ahead. I would have got some organic ones. Keep emptying your pockets. Oh, I took the liberty of disconnecting your internet and your landline. Forgive me for being overzealous. Well, if I don't check in soon, you know they're going to wonder where I am. I'll be a ghost by then. Back against the pillar. So, why are you here? Why me? I considered paying a call on Sergeant McCluskey. But I'm not ready yet. We'll have our time. Okay, I see you're here for a reason. What is it? This is about Gregory Harrow, isn't it? You know, I find it very, very interesting, Mr. Logan, that you've been made a full-time special consultant in Sergeant McCluskey's unit. Well, it's not that unusual. The IIB employs specialists with unique investigative expertise. And no offense, but you're a paramedic. You're an expert in intubation, not investigation. So, what does she see in you? What is it that merits her special attention? I don't think you're here to talk about my resume. Why did you harass the Harrow family lawyer? She had information I required. What information? Don't play games. You know she said she had nothing to do with Gregory Harrow's release. So what does this have to do with us? By now, Sergeant McCluskey has looked at Harrow's record. I need to know what happened to him between the time of his release and the time of his death. You don't expect me to tell you. Oh, now, here's where it gets interesting. One of two things just happened. Either you know the answer I'm looking for and you're trying to keep it from me, or you know nothing, and you're trying to bluff me into revealing my hand. So which is it, Mr. Logan? You're bluffing. You don't know. I imagine the files were adjusted. What are you planning on doing? I can't do all your work for you. I'm sure McCluskey's already working things out, nipping at my heels. The sins of the son are sometimes paid by the father. Good day, Mr. Logan. What's the status of Magnus Elfinson? It's nice of you to take an interest. We have some promising leads. Word upstairs is you've been sniffing around the wrong trees. Well, that sounds unhealthy. What's really going on? 
Someone in your unit was flagged doing a hard search on the Gregory Harrow file. Flagged by whom? I don't know. All I know is that I got a call. Feathers were ruffled. Well, give me a chance to smooth them out. Who do I speak to? Well, you need to worry about that. All you need to worry about is finding Magnus. Oh, we'll find him. Of course, it would be infinitely easier if we had the information we needed. We need that file. Come on, Jeremy. We've been in the trenches together. No one needs to know where I came from. Wait, so, okay, he sent you a text to come pick me up. Yeah, from your cell. He left it outside. Oh, that was nice. I just don't understand why he would come here. Why come after you? No, he came here trying to pry information from me. He said he wasn't ready for you. I think he's afraid. Now, Magnus isn't scared of anything. Did you manage to get anything from him? Yeah, I think he has a serious beef with Harold Sr. Or he just wants us to think that. No, I got it from Reed. He doesn't know I know. Well, however Harrow fits into this, we have to make sure we're making the rules to this game, not Magnus. What are we dealing with here? He was seizing when we arrived. Administer 10 milligrams of diazepam, put him on a phenytonin drip, he's stable. Heart rate is slightly elevated, and there's a tremor in his left hand even after the seizure passed, so I'm thinking that he... I was thinking that a seizure was brought on by, you know, alcohol withdrawal. What'd he say? Makes sense. I'll run some blood tests to confirm. You're really enjoying this, aren't you, sir? Yeah. You know what? Let's uh, take lunch on the road, you know? See if we can get in another call. Hey, All right. boss. Oh, Spike, look at this guy. How are you, man? Oh, careful, you got the big stun gun yeah, there. Yeah, don't touch the taser. It's dangerous. Oh, what's going on with this? Uh, I got a uh, shrapnel from a uh, door charge, you know? Just got a couple of stitches, it's no big. Mm -hmm. Now I got time at the junction, remember that? Guy with all that C4, all of it goes off at once. Takes out half a building. Yeah, wow. it was a terrifying day. Oh, this guy, he kept his cool the whole time. Yeah. No, I'm serious, man. Wow. You're one of those guys, you know? You had our back the whole time. Right back at you, Slick. Like... Yeah. All right, be all good. Right. Careful, bud. Don't get that thing wet. Nice uniform. Those SRU boys wear them well, don't they? Oh. Mm, something about a man in Kevlar. Ooh. Please. Black and gray, yawn. Let's go. Oh, now he wants to go. Mr. Harrow's been waiting for you. Mm. Come in, sit down, please. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. Well, thank you very much for coming by, but I've already been made aware of Mr. Alfredson's escape. Do you have any idea why he would be after you? After me? No. No, he, uh, no reason. He had a problem with my son. My son is dead. Well, uh, we think he still might be interested in you for some reason. No, I can't imagine why. He's already taken everything I care about. Somehow he managed to contact us from prison. Emails, phone calls, threats threats seeking justice for his daughter. My wife finally found it intolerable, and she left me. As for my son, I refused to speak to him after he got out of prison. The things that he did to that girl were... I should have you locked up and throw away the oh, key. The key. <sighs> Still, he was my son. Magnus believes there was some kind of injustice done due to your son's early release. I'm afraid I, I don't understand what you're talking about. He believes that he might have pulled some strings to get Gregory out of jail. I don't care what he thinks. I see no reason for all of this to be dredged up again. We're asking these questions because Magnus is asking them. We're just trying to figure out what it is he wants exactly. Well, unfortunately, you've come to the wrong place. So I have a meeting in just a few minutes, if you don't mind that... Uh... Thank you for your time. Not at all. Always happy to be of help. Dev, any luck finding the Herald file? No, sorry. I, I feel like I've knocked on every door I can. I just... Next time, come to the master. The master, eh? Right? So this, this is exactly what we need. How'd you get your hands on it? Forget I asked. <sighs> Thank you. Two weeks after the motion was filed by Robin Wise, another motion for appeal was filed. No more compelling, but the judge granted it. Stamps here. Yeah, but there's another stamp right next to it from another office. Code CF10. What is that, military? Or intelligence. 
Okay, before we get all conspiracy theory, the prison release was signed off by a dude named Michael Thorpe from Correctional Services. What do we have on him? <sighs> Mr. Thorpe is retired. He left public service in September 2010. Wait, this isn't right then. Look, he, he signed this January 2011. Should look at these signatures. The death certificate, the prison release. Different name, same signature style. Yeah, you're right. The, the handwriting is identical. These are all forgeries. Including the death certificate. Michelle, Metro's on the line. There's been a break-in at the Harrow House. Mr. Harrow was gone for the day. I stepped out for supplies. When I got back, the back door was open. What about your alarm system? Disabled. Security monitor, too. They don't know how. Magnus. Is Mr. Harrow here? In the study. Thanks. Ah, oh, Sergeant McCluskey, I'm, I'm sorry you had to come all this way. There was no need, really. We understand you had a break in. Well, he, Terrence found the door open and he overreacted. Well, your security system was disabled and your cameras were blacked out. I wouldn't say he overreacted. <laughs> well, the point is that nothing was disturbed, and whoever did this went away empty-handed. Bastard, bastard. What? Where are you going? Is this your son's urn? Yes. Is there a problem? came. Why? I think he took a sample of Gregory's ashes. He doesn't think Gregory Harrow is dead. Neither do I. Uh, DNA results are in. We know the individual was young and healthy and apparently four-legged. It was a pig. Come on. Yeah. So if we know this, Magnus knows this. Results are in. Gregory Harrow is alive. I know. No, you can't. The results just came in. I found out another way. Conference room. Everyone. Team, this is Sergeant White. CSIS. I'm here to talk about your case. If you don't mind my asking, why is this on your radar? Gregory Harrow is in the highest level of witness protection. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Let me get this right. You sprung Harrow from jail, forged documents, faked his death, and put pig ashes in the urn? Harrow was a valuable asset. Well, what did he do for you exactly? That's a state secret. We're asking you to work with us, Sergeant. Harrow's life is at stake. All of this is above my pay grade. From what I understand, Harrow shared a prison cell with a certain individual, a person of interest. This person of interest, he was a, what was he, a spy? All I know is Harrow put his life on the line in order to assist us in bringing this individual to justice. And in return for that favor, we offered certain concessions regarding his sentence. What could he have to do with intelligence operations? I don't care what you tell him. Just shut him down. This ends now. You're not telling us the truth, are you? When someone's scared, and she's just here to shut us down. Your investigation into this Harrow matter goes no further. He needs to be warned. Cesis has the situation under control. You don't know Magnus. He will kill him. Best of luck with your case. Sometimes a convict gets lucky and he shares a cell with someone of interest, a spy, a gangster, a terror suspect. If he's smart, he gathers intel and turns it into something of value. Gregory Harrow is not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Even if he did have amazing intel, he wouldn't know what to do with it. What are you implying, Michelle? This is a cover-up. She was scared. I saw a guy telling her to shut us down. Who's her commanding officer? Colonel Rana. He's a top flight intelligence agent. I find it difficult to believe he's been compromised. Charles Harrow has endless finances and serious clout. Yeah, he could have gotten to Rana. We're reaching here, guys. Shouldn't we be focused on capturing Magnus? Every available unit scouring the city. Let's bring in Charles Harrow. All right, right now, all you have are allegations. Find some proof before you turn my life into a political nightmare. Hey. Thanks. 
I've been going through Charles Howe's books. It's a bit like falling down the rabbit hole, but I think I found where the body might be buried. Harrow made significant contributions to a number of philanthropic organizations. How significant? Six zero significant. Well, a rich man giving to charity isn't strange. Yeah, except that one charity in particular, I noticed a big spike in donations right around the time that Gregory went into witness protection. I'm bringing him in. Actually, my son assisted in bringing down a Russian spy that he, he met in prison. Uh, he was placed in witness protection for his own safety. They, they <laughs> won't even tell me where he is. Why didn't you tell us this before? Well, I was sworn to secrecy. Well, you said you were estranged from your son. Was that also a lie? No. When Gregory was arrested for what he did to that poor girl, I have to tell you, my family's life was ruined. And by everyone thinking that he was dead and buried, I mean, you could wipe the slate clean. You could start over. Colonel, I'm asking oh, man to man. man. Please, Please help me. Help me. You know, I don't blame you, Charles. Blame me for what? For buying your kid's way into witness protection. I mean, getting him a new life. I mean, it's your son. I mean, who could blame you? How'd it go in there? So I got him talking to a colonel. Must be Colonel Rana. So maybe he's not as clean as his rep would suggest. At every word, a reputation dies. Alexander Pope said that, too. You know, you're always telling me to follow the money. So I followed the money. And you know the charity that Harrow contributed millions to? They immediately contracted a private security firm here in Canada. OK, can we prove that Rana took money from Harrow? Yes. Forensic accounting will get you every time. Rana's an advisor to the company. Oh, man. Didn't I tell you? Who would have thought a laundromat would have the best coffee in Toronto? Yeah, I used to go there twice a day when I was on the road. You know, any emergency in the area, I would take it just for this. You know, even if I was halfway across the city. Hey, it's a good coffee. Yeah, good company. So what are you really doing out here, sir? I told you. Right, the sharpening of the skills. <laughs> I don't buy that for a second, sir. What is this, some sort of supervisor test? Like a secret shopper screening kind of a thing? It's nothing like that. I, uh, I miss it. You know, the road, the adrenaline, the camaraderie, it's just... The coffee? Yes, the coffee. Yeah. So I figured, you know, give myself a little reward. You know, go back in time a few years and see if the road is as much fun as I remember it being. And is it? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Rana, Sergeant McCluskey, IIB. McCluskey, I've heard good things. I say you're one to watch. Thank you, sir. Look, we don't want to waste your time. We're here to talk to you about Gregory Harrow. It was reported to me that you'd stumbled onto this. I'm sure you both know this is highly confidential. And if there's nothing more, I do have a committee meeting. We know that Harold paid you. And how'd it feel to give a new life to a rapist and murderer? I was doing my job. Harold had vital intel that led to the arrest of a person of interest. We have no evidence of that. I've covered the bases. The Russian is already out of the country. You come down here and question me on matters of national security, I would have expected more from someone with your reputation. Forensic accounting will get you every time. Intelligence officers' actions are protected by the Security of Information Act. I suggest you read it sometime. Well, the act doesn't cover personal accounts. I have actually read it, sir. Look, you know how this is going to go down. What do you want? Well, the truth would be a good start. Charles was sent to me by a mutual friend. He said that his son wasn't safe, that Alfredson was planning on killing him. He asked for my help. I had use for him. Right. And he helped. For a price. That was an official action. Once I gave him his new identity, I washed my hands of all of it. All right. Can you tell us where he is? Your cooperation will be on record. If you're going to go any farther with this, you're going to have to use that proof of yours. But if I were you, I would think carefully before taking this to the next level. We don't have much time. Gregory Harrow is going to die. It's sensitive intel protected on a secret server. Yes, we found the servers. How do they know about Whipsurf? We know about Whipsurf, Colonel. You can help us. You know how to get in. This information will not be made available to you. You've made a mistake. You can make it right. Just think about it. To 
tell us what the password is. Invictus. If you want any more, you'll have to go through the DND. We're okay. Mm -hmm. So he said Gregory's new identity is on a secure server. Can you get us in? Well, servers are a lot like an endless series of doors. I need to know which one to knock okay, on. Right. Try whip serve. Whip serve. All right, you're one for two. You got a login? Try Invictus. Wow. Yeah, you're batting a thousand today, buddy. All right, I've got my moments. There he is, right there. Wow. Okay, Gregory Harrow is now Jeremy Metzger. He's living in Vancouver. This is the information that Magnus wants more than anything else. We need to keep this tight. Yeah. Hello, Michelle. Magnus. What? Keep him on the line. I just wanted to thank you and your team. For what exactly? Mm, you want to keep me talking to give your associate a chance to run a trace. He can take all the time he wants. He's not going to find me. He's using a VOIP and a spoofer. What does that mean? It's complicated. It, it means he's good. I set the table for you, and you served it up just the way I needed it. Look, Magnus, you don't have to kill Gregory Harrow. He does need to die. OK, I almost got him. Well, I've caught you twice before, Magnus. You know what they say, third time's the charm. It was nice to hear your voice, Michelle. We'll talk again soon. <sighs> he's gone. Is, it? Is that enough? He's here. What? I mean, he's here. He's in the building. He's in the server room. Okay. Security, we have a breach. Yep. We need to lock the building down immediately. Lock it down, full sweep. Dev, stay in contact. Wait, Michelle, wait, wait. He's in the elevator. He's jacking in the security system. Everyone, we have a security breach. How did he get my cameras? I'll bring them to you. I got control of the elevators. All right, he's almost here. How do you do this? Well, we're talking about a man who escaped maximum security not once, but four times. Security has been over the entire building, nothing. He just vanished. Wow. Uh, I was just in the server room. It looks like Magnus was camped out down there. He punched a hole in my firewall. He's been watching my computer. It's safe to say that he knows everything that we do. So he's got the new name and address. Well, he played us all the way. Let's contact the IIB field office in Vancouver, see if they can find this Jeremy Metzger. All right, then what? Put him in a safe house and wait for Magnus. Venomous is demon! Venomous is demon! Ma'am, wow, that's a lot of German. Ma'am, I need you to calm down, okay? Can you can you breathe for me, please? There you go. It's an anaphylactic shock. We'll give him a shot of epinephrine and then we'll get into him. He's already had the epipen. It's, it's not doing enough to bring down the tongue swelling. It's blocking his airway. He's getting air. The epinephrine will continue to give him relief. The best thing we can do right now is just get him to St. Oh, no. it's, it's getting worse, sir. We have to give him the intercardial injection. Sir, sir, it's not a discussion. The ICI kit, please. Ma'am, you know this looks bad and you can't understand me, but it's gonna be fine. We're gonna get him to the hospital, okay? Just need you to calm down. We got this. Is that better okay? Okay, there we go. Here we go. Vancouver Credit Bureau. Yes, hello there. This is Andrew Preston. I'm with CPB Collections. I'm trying to contact Mr. Jeremy Metzger regarding a delinquent account. Last known address is 2166 Robson. Do you think you'd be able to help me with that, please? Certainly. Just give me a moment. Jeremy Metzger is no longer at that address. His accounts have been paid in full and are now closed. Oh, dear. I see. You wouldn't happen to have a forwarding address? No, but there's a note. Inquiries into Metzger's accounts should be directed to the firm of Mints and Mints in Toronto. You need their phone number? No, I have it. Thank you. Klosky, I'm here at Metzger's address, but Metzger isn't. The place has been cleaned out for a long time. Okay, thanks for the update. I spoke with uh, Jeremy's landlady. Turns out he moved out of the apartment two and a half months ago. Two months ago, he was charged with sexual assault in West Van. Come on. 
You did it again? Charges were dropped for lack of evidence. All right, so where'd he go? Wait, I got to read off Charles. He said, uh, I should lock you up and throw away the key. Maybe that was after the sexual assaults in Vancouver. He brought him home. Harrow residence? This is Sergeant McCluskey. I need to speak with Charles Harrow. Mr. Harrow isn't here. He's up at the cottage. I just told your colleague the same thing. My colleague? Special Consultant Logan. He just called here a minute ago. Okay, what's the number at the cottage? There's no phone service, not even cellular. Okay, well, then I need the address. Thank you. Deb. Yep, I got it. Tell me I'll send back up your way. Once, can you bring me something that doesn't come from a drive through window? Be grateful for what you get. Is this the right road? Oh, no, it's not on the GPS, but I think it is. I don't get this guy. I mean, I get protecting your son, but the kid's a monster. Maybe it's love or guilt. Or whatever it is, he's, he's just as guilty as his son, allowing him to hurt women again. Let's just hope he's still alive. Oh, don't run out now. Especially when I went to so much trouble to find you. We have some unfinished business, Gregory, that I am very anxious to put to rest. Here. How did you find this? Gregory has mild epilepsy. You picked up a prescription for Dilantin. How the hell did you know that? First rule of war, know your enemy. And I know all about what you've done. On your knees. And you... Sending the wayward son to Vancouver. A new name and a hope. Hmm? That this time, you'll stay out of trouble. But you just couldn't help yourself, could you, Gregory? I didn't do anything to that girl. That's just what you said at the trial about Andrea, my daughter. Like your father of the year or something. Gregory, shut up. Oh, what difference does it make, Dad? He's going to kill me. I know what he did to your daughter. I'm sorry, but it can't be changed now. Please, I'm begging you, father to father, please don't kill my boy. Deb, where's our backup? They said they'd be there within 10 minutes. Well, we don't have time. We're going in. In all of my crimes, I have never spilled blood, and I don't wish to. But tonight, justice is the master, and I will be its servant. Welcome, Michelle. Now we can begin. Drop the gun, Gregory. Don't listen to her, Gregory. She's the one to put you in prison. Think about what you're doing here, Greg. Mm, you back off! Don't, don't do this, son. Just shut up! Put the gun down and we can talk about this. There's nothing to talk about, Gregory. The power is in your hands. Are you a man or not? He's done something. Hey, don't do it, Greg! Gregory, no! No, what happened? Is he okay? The gun backfired. Gregory. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Oh. No, no! Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Charles. Oh. I know your pain. So? Well, it turns out the dose from the EpiPen wasn't strong enough. So your emergency ICI saved his life? I didn't say that. Your idea could have worked, too. I just had to make the call. Yeah, and it was a good one. The type of call I'd like to think I used to make back in the day. You know, I was thinking about that. I know you said you missed being on the road, right? Yeah, I miss it once in a while, but you know, I love my job, and I'm damn good at it. See, I think I'm good at this job, and I should stick to it. Maybe the supervisor thing is not for me. Are you kidding me? The way you took control, the way you put me in my place? That is supervisor behavior. Are you sure? You seemed pretty mad when I did that. Well, you... look, being a supervisor is not a job description. It's an attitude, and you got it. Yeah? Yeah. Got that. 
street smart kind of swag, right? That's a thing. People say that, right? Swag. Yeah, you shouldn't say that. Okay. Do you know a place where I could find the best breakfast burrito in the city? Because I am starving. Look, I know this place where they make their own spicy salsa. Burn your face right off. Oof. Lead the way, sir. All right. So he got what he wanted. Gregory Harrow is dead. And he didn't even pull the trigger. He got Gregory to do it for him. He looks pretty happy for a guy going back to prison. Or maybe he's planning his next escape. It's almost like he read my mind.